What's good, YouTube? Zach King 05, OT with the good head here. So Titus got his uh BT plus here. I went ahead and I went ahead and maxed him. You know I had to do it. He's pretty future proof, so you know why not. Uh, last time around in JP, I ran Titus, Echo, and uh, Caius. I was trying to block out their debuffs, but you know. And learning the fight, they always cleanse at least one debuff when they do their uh, special attack. So they always will apply their that annoying ass blessing debuff. I mean buff. That buff lets them. That buff basically lets them take less brave damage and less HP damage. It's really annoying to deal with. So this time around, as opposed to just going full, just debuff cleanse, I mean, block them, block all their debuffs, I brought some dispel calls because we're not going to be letting that war go off, not with this team. We got just enough uh, AOE damage. So we don't, so the orb should basically be a non-factor. So only, so basically I should only have to deal with that buff three times if I play it correctly. For those spells, I have Ferris. I have a uh, Cloud. That actually has two. That has that actually has two cleanses in it. His regular and his uh, LD. But not only that, I also have the uh, have the Pain Call. And that one right there, I put on Titus because not only is it not only is it a spell, it's also a party cleanse. So when I want Titus to go nuts, in the case I have their HP damage. Reduction buff up, I won't have to deal with it. I can go ahead and cleanse the party and his damage won't be sacrificed. So I max Kefka, so I have to use him. I have to use him more. I mean, he's a fave, kind of mid, not even gonna hold you. I need to go peep his rework video though, see how that's looking. See if he has a future just yet. Man, that's one thing about the JP experience <laughs> that I always think about is when I come back to global and I see certain attacks and I'm like, where are all my dumps? Like Titus is Titus is a LD, it's only two dumps in global. And I was just sitting there, just, you know, waiting for all the extra dumps. But, you know, that's the game I have right now. All right. So let's check. Yeah, this is the. Yep. I don't want to get rid of it. Not with not. I don't want to use this one. So let's go ahead and refresh our stacks. Oh my god! Look at that. That was just a waste, huh? Get rid of these fucking debuffs. I think I'll go ahead and hit him with the uh and hit him with the BT plus a little bit later for Kefka. Let's go, Echo Chan. Meteor, why not? Just use it up.
Let's quick hit him. Get us a nice turn rate. Pop the X. Probably gonna hit Echo C88 soon. I have two of those. Helps the party do a little bit more damage. My biggest fear is basically running into his last threshold and having both of those buffs up before I, you know, in the middle of my, in, in the middle of having Tidus' BT effect up while in his BT phase. That's 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 pretty much what I want to do. I want to use Tidus' BT while his effect is up, while Kepka's effect is up probably going to be doing a lot of damage to that point to easily get past that 29 percent threshold but i don't want him i don't want him to a put that put that buff up and then b put that debuff up because as you can see you will do no damage from you know with all the reductions on it but that might be that might be too big of a stretch. I might have to do it one by one. I at least want to get them down to 50. Now that I'm thinking about it. Because they're, they're dying pretty well. They're dying pretty fast. How many turns I got to miss? 80. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're hella good. Hmm. I could frame it and it could block it out. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just frame it. Let's, 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 knock, let's block them out. What does her regular call do? Besides, put her debuff up and absolutely nothing. Get back. Get back. <laughs> this shit's still hype. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's use this one. One more. Let's try to see if we can get him under that, underneath that threshold. Into another jet shot. We love to see it. Uh, well, it makes no point to you trying so if he's going to go ahead and uh, if he's going to go ahead and go to the threshold. Yeah, yeah, use your shit.
All right, let's waste this. Let's waste some turns. Think I'm gonna pop Kekka's effects next turn. No, no. Echo needs to dispel. No damage. Turn rate, perfect. No damage. Now we can do some damage. Kefka's gonna be doing no damage. Hit this. Can't <laughs> hit this. That was the wrong buff, but we got rid of it. No bro buff for you. Alright. Turn right. No. Oh, he actually did some damage. All right, now we are in the clear. Let's just throw this up. Why not? So Kefka can do more damage. We need those debuffs. <laughs> Submitsta. there sir once we get them below 29 percent we can really go nuts terror homie Get the heels up. Oh no, no. I was about to say, let me LD 
and then I can try to waste some turns to get him to the threshold, then use the debuff. But no, that's fine. Matter of fact, what's what's about to get erased? No, I don't want him to lose his EX debuff, so let's do this. Alright, that's one. Kefa got another turn too. Man, eh, that works out actually. Because he can push he push this guy and move the threshold. I swear it sounds like he's saying some 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 like dude is not cool. <laughs> All right, let's check the HP threshold. Are we good? We are good. damage. Oh, just a little bit. There we go. Cleanse the party. There we go. And to be real, I probably could have did this a lot better. But I don't care. It's overkill by this point. They're long dead. Why not? Now, I like to EX. Hold up. Shoot the. I can actually read it now. Six hits. Five hits. Yep. So, slash combo. Oh shit. Fuck. Fuck. I forgot the LD. I'm bad. But you know what? It doesn't matter. I can be bad. <laughs> this fight's over. It's all overkill at this point. This is just like that uh that Yuri fight. Like the annoying thresholds make it a little bit more weird. You, you just can't burst them down. I mean, and I'm and I'm like I said, I know there's like a better way to play these to play this fight. I mean, I I know you can use Aerith. You know, she's pretty dated, but. Aerith, Aerith definitely is good for the fight because she helps them not gain the buffs. You could use, uh, I know, yeah, I know you could use Aerith. You could use, please don't gain the buff. Okay, good. Uh, Yuffie might be good, I think, because Yuffie could throw up her buff. It was no cheating. They can't gain any. They can't gain any. Uh, buffs of Ray. That's an option too. I mean, yeah, there's there, there's ways to do this fight just you know <laughs> way more efficiently. This is just the way I wanted to go through it. So, regardless, a win is a win is a win. Keep the party. Let me get the screenshot for for the Instagram. The Instagram for Discord. What the fuck I'm talking about. Yep. And just like that, that's how 
That's how you do it. Beat the spear set up. I got some E-spheres, but I really want to use them for Seymour. All right. If you watched this long, I greatly appreciate it. Once, it's, once again, this is Sax King 05, a.k.a. OT with the good hair. Signing out. I'll catch y'all later.